Hi, Heidi here, and I am just taking another day, just to update, um, it's another day on this journey of becoming who I truly want to be, a healthier version of myself, and a more energetic, um, kind, compassionate person who connects with other people. Um, Today, I just wanted to talk about my why and kind of ask everybody else about their why too. Like, um, I'm on this carnivore journey and it's definitely been with some ups and downs, definitely. Um, if you heard that, that's my, my cat over here lying on paper. Um, it's this carnivore journey has definitely been, um, a little bit of a bumpy road for me so far, mostly because of my um, my choices and my emotional baggage, if you will, um, and a struggle to have support because I'm kind of doing this all on my own, all by myself, um, like in real life. I do have to say there has been a lot of support in the carnivore community that um, just is really cool to see and um, connecting with some other people in that carnivore community has become um, it's just it's it's very encouraging to say the least um, so yeah but I, I want to talk about my why and I want to see if anybody else wants to tell me about their why because I'm very curious like why did you jump into this I know that we've all kind of uh I feel like everybody has like found it by accident um from like whoever actually started this whole I don't know who figured it out in the first place but um but it just kind of like stumbled upon it and realized that oh my gosh I could like this could be something that would actually really help me take my life to the next level in whatever way. Um, me personally, I definitely um, need to lose weight, and I don't I don't say that out of vanity or 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 even insecurity, but just like just a reality that if if I don't lose weight, the quality of my life hmm, has has already started to decline and um, will continue at an exponential rate if I don't do something right now to to release my body of some of this weight that it's been carrying for most of my for my entire life well I mean it, it it's compounding so it just has gotten worse and worse over time uh, but yeah I was always always overweight my entire life. So it's kind of a legacy thing that I still sometimes am not convinced that is possible for me to overcome or heal. So, um, but my why, like, why am I doing this? I, you know, obviously I've, I've done diets in my life and you know, the, the bigger why of why you do that, why I would do this, why I would eat only meat, why I would uh, try to avoid, completely avoid the standard American diet as much as possible um, when it's all around me, when it's what my family and friends do, when it is a point of connection with them. And part of my purpose is to connect with others. Um, why would I, why would I be doing this way of eating, this carnivore way of eating? Well, I'll tell you why. Of course, the overall arching reason, overarching reason, would be that I want to live longer. I want to feel better. I want to be adventurous. I want to live an adventurous life. I want to enjoy my life. I want to have fun. 
I want to be able to connect with other people on a different level, not just connecting with food and not having the energy to go out and hang out with people um, unless we're just sitting around eating, but to actually go have experiences with other people that are meaningful and fun and um, adventurous, enjoyable, things that, you know, connect people in a different way. Um, and of course, you know, the other reality is that I, I do want to live longer and I just received word not a couple of days ago that my aunt, my father's sister, uh, younger sister, passed away um, just a couple of days ago. And she was, she was one of those people that had struggled with obesity her whole life and um, ended up, you know, just her declining in health and had dementia, increasing dementia in the last um, year probably. And, you know, she passed away. And she, I think was, I'm not sure her exact age, but young 70s, early 70s, um, like my father, who was in his early 70s as well. So, well, I no, he was 76, so I guess that's mid-70s. But um, I want to live longer than that. So uh, as an obese person, historically in my family, I could most likely make it to my 70s. That's kind of what, what it's looking like uh, if I remain in this condition. Although, I think that I, I'm heavier at my age now than my father was when he was my age, when he was this particular age. So I, I hesitate to say that it would probably... I would probably go faster if I don't do something about this. Um, and that's a, a very scary thought. So that is definitely a major part of my why. And, you know, and that, and it's great. And I think about those things I do. And when I'm, when I'm eating carnivore and when I, get tempted though it's easy because of all my other associations with food and all my other emotional connections with food I it's easy to forget that big why when I'm trying to eat this way but very tempted to just eat something sweet, eat, eat whatever my family's eating, eat whatever people at church are eating, eat whatever is available in the teacher's lounge. Um, those kinds of things that it's just like, well, I, it's not a big deal. I could just have that today. Yeah, I can, I can do carnivore tomorrow or the next day, or, you know, maybe I'll try it again next year. So I personally have to have a closer why, like so a more immediate why. And um, for me right now, um, in a few days, I'm going to be headed to a music educators conference, which is always a blast, um, where music teachers get together and we just have fun learning from each other and um, yeah, learning, having fun, getting ideas, doing activities. Um, and so it's, it's a really fun time, but it's also very active. It takes a lot of energy and me putting, putting off life doesn't fit into that. So 
my immediate why right this second, why am I going to eat clean carnivore tomorrow is because I have to travel on Wednesday and I have to be ready Thursday morning early to have a long day of active, interactive meetings and walking a lot around, um, you know, around a campus. So those are things that I am considering when I, when I look at my food, what is going to make me feel good Wednesday? What is going to make me feel good Thursday? Because these things are happening soon and I need my body to be working. I need, and I need, I need that carnivore clarity. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Carnivore clarity. It's, you know, it's when your mind is not foggy, your mind is thinking and moving fast and able to, to make the connections in your brain that, that help you be productive, that help you think of what the next thing to do, that help you um, process all the information that's coming in at you. And we have so much information in our society coming in at us. To process all of that and to decide what to do with it is exhausting. And, you know, when you're on carnivore, when I'm on carnivore, when I'm eating clean, I, I'm not having that. I'm not having the brain fog. I'm able to process this information. I'm able to use it productively. I'm able to be productive in my life. And I think um, that's something, you know, once you get a taste of, you want more of. This is why so many people who, I think, why so many people who actually start carnivore just to like lose weight and they lose weight for, you know, maybe they stay on carnivore for like 30 days or something because they want to, you know, do an elimination diet or lose weight, end up staying on it and never going back because they feel so good and they have that carnivore clarity and like there's nothing there's nothing as good as that. You know, you realize, huh, I don't, I don't want to feel that sickness again. I don't want to feel that sluggishness and anxiety and blah and depression. I don't want to do that again. Um, so they keep going. They just keep going and keep going. Checking my notes. Yep. Just like how good they feel. Um, I, I just think that that is, something that <laughs> that maybe I'm struggling with still but um but it's coming slowly it's coming that I'm getting the clarity and I'm getting that energy and that productivity and I need to not be in pain when um when I'm going to this conference and I'm expected to walk everywhere I need to not have inflammation and pain and aches and all of the things so that's like that's that's my immediate why and I feel like it is good for me and maybe it is a tool that could help someone else to find the next why. Find the next closest immediate why. Um, after this conference, I've got a, several other events coming up that I'm like, okay, I'm going to make it to this spot. I'm going to make it to the next concert that I have to do that I need energy for, that I need a good voice for. Um, because carnivore actually uh, improves my voice a lot. Um, when I'm eating clean, it improves my voice a lot. And um, so also in May, I have another uh, field trip with my kids that I have to walk. I have to walk several blocks from where the bus parks to the theater that we're going to um, for this great program that I'm taking my third and fourth graders to. But I need to be able to keep up with them. I need to be able to keep up with them and walk at a reasonable pace with my students. These are things that I have to keep in my mind that are coming coming up, coming soon, that, that keep, help keep me on track right now. Because it's easy for me to give up and give in to temptation and say, well... I don't need to lose weight right this second. I don't need to do that. Um, it'll be okay if I just slug along here for a little bit more. 
But it's really not. Because I need to have energy tomorrow. I need to have energy this week. And I need to have that in my head as a motivation to stay on track and to uh, make good choices. And so that's, um, I just want to share that. And I am curious, again, what is your why? What is your big why? And what, maybe you have a, just a immediate why, your next immediate why of what, what you need to feel good for and what you want to be present for. And, um, and I will also say is that connection with others. Um, I was listening to the raise the stakes podcast and they were talking about connecting with others and how it is like when you are in the dumps, when you're not feeling well, it's easy to isolate, and I feel like I do that a lot. It's easy to isolate and simply, you know, not go out, not go out with other people, not not reach out to other people, because I can just numb myself. I can numb myself with food. I can numb myself with television. I can numb myself with games or even books, just vegging around and not not reach out to connect with other people um, and and you know brush off their their reaching out to connect because I'm tired and depressed or just not feeling not feeling up to it right it's so different when you feel good and you have the energy to do those things and I've experienced, I'm in the place right now, I've experienced those moments, those days, and now I just need to continue on this journey so that it can be my norm, that I'm becoming who I want to be. So tell me your why and who you want to become. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>